everyone, it's Bonnie here, and today I'd like to share with you my new fabric album that I created. Um, I had created this for a friend and a fellow YouTuber. Um, she requested to purchase one off of me. So um, this is what I came up with. Um, it's a rather large one, probably the largest one that I've ever created. Um, but I really wanted to put this beautiful image on the front and when I printed it I printed it huge <laughs> and I didn't want to you know waste it so um, I had to make the fabric album a little bit bigger so all of the images are printed on fabric and um, this particular one I puffed up I you know stuffed it with some stuffing like Margaret does thank you Margaret that is just an awesome idea it gives it so much more depth um, so I really like that t technique. So with this one, um, and before I start, I can't go over everything because like some of the laces and trims and fabrics and, um, stuff like that, I don't know who gave me it. So I'm sorry that I won't be able to give you a shout out because what I did prior to making this is I just took tons of, you know, all of my favorite laces and you know did my dyeing in either avocado or um, I tea dyed them or coffee dyed them so everything just got mixed up um, alright so let me start out by saying that I put this trim around the image and then I put some you know eyelet trim and this was a straight trim so I just gathered it and put that around and um, behind that is some gathered lace and then this beautiful piece here and I hope you can see it because this is you know really hard to pick up and show you because of the size of it now over here I made this beautiful flower and I follow follow tutorial from Trisha little shabby chic here on YouTube thank you Trisha I love making these and then I put this piece of bling in the center um as you go down there are just different appliques and pieces of doilies that I cut out to you know to create all of the flowers and this piece here is just an old earring and then in the center of this I just put a flat back pearl and over here is another flower that I created and that one has um, one of those covered buttons and then down here is um, some acrylic um, dangles that I had cut out of a curtain very pretty I love the dangle there and then up top here and I can move this down I just have it up against a jar um, I put some lace here and I um, doubled it up and then gathered it and kind of just pushed it behind there to give you know even more dimension there and then behind the image is a beautiful doily and you'll see that it just sticks out in you know different places up here is just some pretty trim that I had in my stash and then more um, behind that and there's this one here and that one there I hope you're seeing that Maybe I can pick it up a little bit okay and then there okay then it goes into the second page so there's this one here and all of these are machine stitched right on here because I didn't want them going anywhere and then I have this one here which goes all the way around and then this one here okay so um, on the side here I just have more pieces of um, I think that's probably like a curtain material that I put there I hung some dangles here and then this was an amazing um, I don't know if it was a runner I, I can't remember but it was very large and it had these beautiful um, design here with these you know square cutouts already and I I just put some um, of these rhinestones here 
and that was cut out of an old bracelet okay so on the bottom and I'll try and lift it up right onto the glass here that I have I just have um, you know dangle pieces dangle trim and here is that beautiful I think it, it's either like I said a doily or um, a runner but that is you know that's how it was and then I just have some you know bits of pieces of trim and here's the other side of the doily and then layers of dangle trim I have that one there and then this is a curtain material and this is a curtain dangle trim here and then under here is this lace and then I have more dangle trim here that I got out of got off of a blouse whenever you see this this particular one um, that's where that is from and then there's this right here which I have no idea where that came from <laughs> so that is oops that is the front um, cover and I'll just bring it up a little bit closer so you can see the details so this is the beautiful image and there's the top I love how all the different laces and trims and stuff came out um, the colors just really went beautifully together okay so that's oh and this is um some dangle trim that I bought from Joann's this long one here I, I even dyed that <laughs> that was hard to dye because you know it's just so um, uh, I, I don't know the word <laughs> lots of dangles on it okay so here I'll show you the what I did for the spine so I have this here which is a doily piece and it runs like oblong and I just cut it here and cut it there and ran it all the way across to this side so it gave a, a good sturdy spine and then I put this beautiful it's kind of like an eyelet trim here and then this lace trim here see how I kind of alternated the colors so it you know it showed through then I had this beautiful um, trim here that I got. I think I want to say that's vintage. And then I have this flower applique and this one. I think these are from Annie Miss Garden Grove here on YouTube. And let me just share with you a little post. So that's what that looks like. Okay. And I think that's tatting. This here, I forgot to mention that, that's tatting, which I absolutely love. Um, so let me go over here and open it up. Okay, and that's what that looks like. It's kind of flopping over. But this is the, the whole of it, you know, when you open it up. So let me just um, go ahead and push this over a little bit so this you can see a little bit um, better so I put this gorgeous image here I didn't um, puff it out or anything I just you know kept it flat and then just went around it with different trims and um, then just different appliques that I cut out of the trim you know different various trims in here too in this one here and up here as well I have like this ruffle trim that I put there and then you know just more pieces of applique to you know create the frame and then down here I have this button I, no I think I don't think it was a button I think it was I think it was a pen <clears throat> excuse me I think it was an old pen that I had in my stash and then I had this um, lace that went down actually it's kind of tacked on so I can't like lift it and then I just added this pearl and bling trim going down I really thought that gave it a beautiful look 
and then behind that is this doily here that has these really pretty like flower appliques all around it and it was quite large so I really had um, the opportunity to cut it up and use it in various um, places um, so and then I have this big piece of doily here actually I think that might have been cut out of a curtain and I just love that and then over here is just more appliques that I had in my stash here's just a, a piece of um, you know lace that I cut out and um, let's see here's just more appliques and a doily center here with a flat back pearl I place two of those rhinestones here on either side and then on the top I have this lace here actually you can't see it let me just bring it down a little bit and so I have this lace here and then this one behind it and like I said these are all machine stitched on and then that's the front so there's just two up there and then down here is just what was on the other side that you know that I showed it just um, you know it's just the other layers of the other side the front so that's what that looks like and again um, oh let me show you this one because this one you couldn't see on the other side is um, this beautiful lace here and it has these dangle trims and then this one right here and then this is um, a vintage doily and it has those really loose ruffles and they're just perfect you know to to go on here because when you cut out the ruffle it's it's automatically ruffles you don't have to gather it or anything so that is that again all of those were machine stitched on as well so that's that page and the next one oops is this one here and I have this beautiful image um, that you know I, I've used these in the past um, the buyer wanted these images so I used this image and I um, framed her with this beautiful um, trim that I had in my stash and then this is more trim that I just cut out and just um, you know use the the scallop part of it like the flower part of it and put that around and then every other petal um, or every two petals or whatever I put those rhinestones in there I thought that was really pretty and then behind that is um, a doily here you know just sticking out here and sticking out down here okay and then behind that is a beautiful curtain material and I love the color of that I, I don't think I did anything with that I didn't have to it was so pretty and then up here I have some um, roses and I thought those are really cute you know going across and then under that let me pull a little bit closer I have this trim here that I had my stash and then this one here and um, I think that's the last one yeah and then it goes to the next page so I have two trims going up and I made sure the trims that I put up top um, you know weren't the ones that dangled and flopped down they were kind of just you know straight ones so going down I made these three flowers out of um, curtain material and this you can't see but there's bling in there but you can kind of see through it and again I just added dangle you know trim down here let me bring it up so I have this one here and this one behind here which I cut out of curtain I'm getting really low on that and I'm sad <laughs> and that lace right there and then it goes to the to the other side 
And these here, again, I believe these are from Annie Miss Garden Grove. These here, very beautiful. And I put some vintage button in the center of those flowers. I thought that was really beautiful. And again, just more um, dangle trim. And then over here, I'll just kind of um, you know, flop it down. I have this trim here, and then a doily, one of those doilies, <clears throat> excuse me, those loose doilies. <clears throat> Sorry. And then another, hang on, that was that. More trim here, more lace going across, and then another uh, vintage doily under that. So I'll show you a close-up view of this page here. Isn't that image beautiful? And then going down all the all the pretty trims, and then over here is this one. Very pretty. Okay, so the next layout, which is the center, looks like this. Again, there's just dangles everywhere. Got to kind of straighten out. So it looks like this. Again, very full, very beautiful, different colors, different textile. And um, let me show you this side first. Okay. So I use this gorgeous image. And... Um, I put that same braided trim around her and then a doily here and some lace going around that that I gathered up to give it a little bit of ruffle and then behind that is this um, gorgeous doily here that you know sticks out in little places and then there's a doily um, on top of that one and then I have this trim here just three pieces of it and then there's this little piece here just bits and pieces that I had in my stash and um, so again this is just a flower made out of um, different remnants and you know tiny doilies cut out of runners and here's a applique and again the center of a doily and then I just put this bling center which is off of a broken bracelet that I had I just made these little um, flowers out of, again, curtain material. And over here is a beautiful applique. And down here is another flower that I put together, again, with different appliques and doilies. Um, let's see. And on the top I have this beautiful trim here that I had my style. I kind of think that was the last piece of this trim that I had from um, Treasures Deluxe. It was one of my favorites. Oh, let me push it, let me pull it down a little bit. And then behind that is this lace here. And I doubled it up. Nope, that's a different one. And then I put that one. And that one is from the other side. I guess I didn't show that one. Okay, so that is the top of it, and let me pick it up, and I'll show you the bottom part. Again, it's just um, tons of dangle trim, and these are basically the same that I've already shown you. And then I have this beautiful trim here. It looks like hearts with, you know, these little fans coming out. And see here's a better um, picture of that applique 
and over here is again just more dangle trim okay so that's that page and this is the center here I put this piece of lace trim going down and then this um, trim that I had in my stash is very unique I think I, I had gotten that from an estate sale and it might be it might be vintage I'm not sure and then again at the bottom I just put a, a little flower it, it was some kind of applicant something I'm not really sure and then the center of a doily and let's go to the next page which looks like that again another gorgeous image one of my favorites I love the girls reminds me of best friends or sisters um I used the braided trim again here and another doily that matches that one um I kind of wanted you know the you know it to look kind of the same because it was this the same layout and then I added this gorgeous um, applique here that I got from somebody I'm sorry I can't remember who I got it from and then I put a little applique here and this is curtain material that I kind of gathered up and put behind the frame and I did the same thing with this trim which is kind of a cool trim as well and then I have a, a like a star doily here um, and more of this trim here that reminds me of hearts and it's got like the little fans on it and here's another one of those flowers that I created um, following Trisha's um, a little shabby chic here on YouTube her well, I can't remember what it, I think she calls it like puffy flower or something and this is um, an earring that I got it was kind of like a brooch off of um, I think it was like a cocktail dress or something and then again over here I just gathered up more lace to create kind of a you know a big um, you know flower arrangement here's a little doily and a flower applique and here's a center of a doily and then I have this trim here which is off a curtain and again basically the same um, dangle trims that are you know throughout the, the same on that side um, and then up here I have this here which again I think I got from Annie Miss Garden Grove here on YouTube and then here's this lace and again this one and then it goes to the other side okay so that's that layout and I'll bring it up close so you can see it a little bit closer so this is this side here And again, it's very pliable and very um, soft. You know, it's not hard at all because, you know, I, I stitched the entire album and then stitched all of the trims onto it. So that one, that page looks like that. And then this one looks like this here. I don't want to get in front of the light. Bring it up here. It's just like a big book. <laughs> like a really big book it's quite heavy so I let I hope the recipient loves it I had so much fun with this one um, and then this is the last two pages so if you put it out like together it looks like that and that's one of my favorite images that I used here. And let me just bring it over and bring it down just a hair. So you can see kind of the whole thing. Okay, so this 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 has a lot going on as well. I use this beautiful image and then this pearl trim going around her, and I have different appliques 
sticking out here and here. This is a, um, a like a ruffled doily. Here's more appliques. And then there's a big doily around that. And then more just sticking out here and there. And then over here as well, have a doily and then a flower applique and um, a little flower applique here. And the same going across here. And then I put the those center um, doilies with some flat back pearls in the center of those. And I did the same thing here. It's just doilies and appliques and stuff. And again, another flat back pearl. And here's that matching earring from the first page. Okay, and then I have this pretty lace, lacy kind of sheer um, trim up there. And then behind that, again, I use this as I did like on the other tops. And that goes to the second page, so there's only two there. Um, let's see, I think that's kind of it for this page. Um, and again, just more of the, the trims, the, you know, the dangle trims that I used on all the other pages. Nothing new. Oh, I have this here, this applique here, and then just more pieces of, um, appliques, you know, sticking out all over the place. Okay, so that's that page, and then the last one is um, the pocket page, and I really love this one. Um, I got the inspiration to make this from this beautiful, um, I think it was a runner because it was quite large, or just, you know, like a, a small table, you know, a table runner. And I cut it out and made kind of like a heart um, shape. And then I put these flat back pearls here with this beautiful trim. And then going down this way and then up this way is this pretty trim here that I had in my stash. So it kind of looks like a heart, which I, I thought that was really cool. And then this is the pocket. And it goes all the way down and up. So that is the beautiful pocket, and up here is some really pretty trim that I had in my stash. I believe I got it off a curtain, and here is that heart trim with the little fans. And let me let me pull it up closer. So there's this one here. It's kind of cool. It's got like these um, leaves, and then this really cool. You know, it's just like, I don't know, like leaves with holes in it. I'm not sure. I don't know how to explain it. And then, like I said, the hearts with the fans. And then that one. <clears throat> and then over here is just a, a big flower that I created with all kinds of appliques, some lace that I gathered, and, you know, more flower appliques with a... Um, flat back pearl center and this here is a doily and then this dangle trim here which I love is that cool that's actually this I just cut strips out of it and kinda just dangled them down so I really like that look again it's pretty much the same dangles you know going down so let me share with you up close what it looks like. So there's this page. And there's the beautiful image. Appliques and doilies. Okay, and then here's the pocket page. Very beautiful. The big flower I made. Okay, and then here's the last page. And this is basically just doily on top of doily and appliques and curtain material and you name it, it's in here. But it is so textured, you know, with the different 
the different things that I put on it and the different colors that I alternated so I thought this this page came out really really awesome just all kinds of things going on there's doilies and there's um, cart material and I have this um, hair that I gathered up this really cool doily <clears throat> It had you know that going around it here's some appliques off some trim I had more doilies and just little appliques here <clears throat> I have this beautiful flower applique with the leaves and then it goes down onto here and that's it so let me show you this up close So it looks like that <clears throat> and as you can see the this is the side dangles and this is kind of like the bottom dangles okay so that is my fabric book I hope you guys like it I had so much fun creating this like I said it did take me a while but it was so much fun I really loved making it so again Thanks a lot for watching and have a beautiful day. Take care.